This is Kennedy Space Center. The view we're now observing on the television is not a fairyland scene, but is actually pad 39A and the Space Shuttle Challenger. A and the Space Shuttle Challenger. Challenger was rolled out of the Vehicle uh, Assembly Building that? this morning about 4.19 a.m. Eastern Time and is now moving the three and a half miles to the launch pad. Dense ground fog today is making the scene a little bit surrealistic, but beautiful nonetheless. The Orbiter Challenger, its external fuel tank and solid rocket boosters are just barely poking out of the fog this morning, but is rolling about one mile an hour to the launch pad. The trip takes about six to seven hours. The Challenger should be at the launch pad about 10 a.m. Eastern Time this morning and should be hard down on its launching posts about noon. Workers will immediately begin connecting the orbiter to ground connections, both mechanical, pneumatic, fluid, and electrical, and then will begin checking out the orbiter in preparation for its first launch in late January.
This is Kennedy Space Center. The orbiter Challenger on its crawler transporter is now moving the final few feet into position over the launch support posts on top of the launch pad. We can see the crawler moving uh, at its slow speed. The 14 million pound load or so being carried by the crawler transporter. And within an hour or an hour and a half from now, we'll have a mated condition on top of the launch pad where the crawler transporter deposits the mobile launch platform, whose bottom we can now see on the screen, onto mating positions on top of six support posts on the pad. The final few feet are very delicate because the positioning has to be very precise and it's almost impossible to jockey the platform around once it's nearly in position.